Rioting breaks out over the killing of a black man at the hands of police in Minneapolis. The anger taking hold across thousands of miles right here in Southern California. Minneapolis is bracing for more violence tonight while local officials urge for calm. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes is live with more. Rob? Yeah, those protesters in Minnesota leaving a path of destruction in their wake. Dozens of buildings were burned, damaged, or looted. Here in Los Angeles, a disturbing scene when dozens of people moved onto the 101 freeway and partially shut it down. For two straight nights, Minneapolis has been wrecked with violent protests. The recorded killing of George Floyd by a police officer. I can breathe. Please, the knee my dick. Sparking an FBI investigation. The four officers involved in the arrest fired, though still no charges filed against any of them. Today, the president saying he hasn't spoken with Floyd's family yet, but that the White House is taking a deep look at what happened. And I've asked the attorney general, FBI, and the attorney general to take a very strong look and to see what went on, because that was a very, very bad thing that I saw. I saw it last night, and I didn't like it. Meantime, Anger flared up in downtown Los Angeles. Thousands of protesters packed the L.A. Civic Center last night. The crowd initially peaceful, but soon turning ugly as dozens of them blocked the 101 freeway and attacked two CHP vehicles. Anytime you have masses that come together with anger, frustration, you're always going to have some that take advantage of the situation. We don't condone violence. We stand for aggressive forceful demonstrations and protests, which, by the way, is legitimate. Earl Afari Hutchinson is the president of the Los Angeles Urban Policy Roundtable. He supports yesterday's Black Lives Matter demonstration, but says it's important to keep those protests from devolving into violent outbursts. L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti echoing that sentiment this morning, tweeting, Angelino should follow their conscience in response to the pain and senselessness of this whore. I will always believe in expressing ourselves powerfully, peacefully, and safely. Now, the officer seen kneeling on Floyd's neck has had 18 complaints filed against, against him during his career. He was disciplined in only two of those cases. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.